in this tutorial we will see how to create stairs for going to terrace so we will be creating stairs on the back side of the ro room or house so some things we need to be noted one thing the height of room is 3000 that we know already then second thing uh, the thickness of slab is 150 that means total height available to you uh, available to us is 3150 so if we uh, we are going to make a stairs of 150 height to 30 width so if we divide 3150 by 150 that means answer is 21 so we have to make 21 stairs so what we will do we will make 11 stairs upward then we will shift and again upward we will take 10 stairs so for go making the stairs let's start so at first we should be on right plane for making the stairs we will just pan it uh, so first we will change our plane to right so go to view then check that your plane is right ok back it is on the back alright back and right is opposite actually so back will also work alright so first we will take the go back to home then we will take polyline or you can also draw a simple line polyline so height of stairs is we'll make a fit or thorn height of stairs is 150 and the width is 230 so we will create line of 150 height and 230 width so we'll just zoom it there okay so in this way this line has been created and we will just copy this for 10 times we will just say copy then select this object enter bottom base point and top base copy to second point will be the top base point so in this way 2 3 then we will make the object snap tracking off F 4 and 5 and we will just copy this complete again from bottom to top so in this way 10 stairs are ready then one more stair is needed so we will copy that last one ok so these are 11 upward stairs ok we will just move it further closer this end point to this end point alright then we will just create one line connecting bottom to top stairs from bottom to top ok then uh, we will offset this line by 100 ok now it is the internal line alright now we just create one horizontal line from the bottom F8 orthon and we will trim this portion alright same way on the top also just create one vertical line and trim that portion alright so in this way these st stairs are ready then we will just keep copy of these stairs for making opposite upward moment stairs we'll just copy this or we can also copy the 3d okay all right and we will cut one down okay then press pull take the press pull to convert it to the 3d just say press pull go inside click 
give the direction and say a width of thousand so these upstairs are ready now i will copy this and then i will rotate this so that it will go up so i will just select the stairs then i will select rotate zigma then i will click on there just click on blue circle for rotation select the blue one okay then give the angle of 180 i want to make it exactly opposite so 180 okay so opposite upward direction stairs are ready then i will need a, a platform here so that i will make up suppose 1 meter by 2 meter so uh, for that i will have to go to top plane so i will just go to top plane or i can also make in i can also make it in side plane also so i will go back to home i will say rectangle then give the base point right click dimension then rectangle i want of 1000 by 150 thickness click then just press pull go inside uh, this rectangle and give a width of 2 meter 2000 okay now i will move it and i will put it at the end of this stairs okay above point at the end okay so this has been fitted properly now this stairs i will transfer to other end so it will go up so uh, i will say that that side okay this end point on this side okay so both stairs are ready one for going up and again further going up so we will just move this we will just uh, union this so that it will okay all right we will just move it and put it there then take this top end point and we'll, we will put in building our house city house let's zoom minus and pan it up okay now now we came nearer to home i will put it here at the nearest point we'll just have this we'll put it at this midpoint front midpoint okay all right so where it has been put so in this way it has been put here now we will uh, shift it on this side we will move it further move previous we will take one base point and second point make the earth on okay we'll go a bit back all right so in this way we want to put it then press escape then just zoom it and orbit it so in this way it has been created properly the stairs has been created then will you color to it now one more platform will be needed on this side also so that we will make up 1 meter by 1 meter so just zoom minus and create a rectangle of 1 meter by 1 meter just a rectangle a rectangle give the start point right click 
just click on rectangle start point right click dimensions of 1000 by 150 thickness click then press pull this or extrude let's we will use extrude extrude this rectangle by 1000 on the right so we will just extrude it extrude select object enter give the thickness of 1000 enter then we will just move this and fit at our required location so just we will take that side this top up top end point and we will put on the stairs just pan it up just zoom it and put it at the end so just put it at this end top end ok so in this way this platform is properly placed then we will just change the color so it is a RCC stairs so we will choose the required color suppose we give you if we use man magenta how it look likes no that will not be suitable so we will take some other color okay escape so in this way these stairs are ready and uh, we can just union them so that they will be combined so just use union for that just select union and select all the pieces union then select all the pieces to be connected this one this one this one and this one press enter so they will be properly connected so in this way we have modeled the stairs in the next tutorial we will see how to create railings for these stairs we will stop here thanks for joining